I'll try so to give a short answer. So you speak about this liquidity ratio level. What do you think is the correct level and does it differ for different economies and business sectors? It's not for me to say. Ultimately, they are extremely able uh, 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 prudential regulators. They're called central banks. And so they can make that determination in terms of what is the appropriate leverage ratio as a function of the bank, of the economy. You know, it, it's, it's an assessment that they can make. It's their job and they do it uh, very well. So it wouldn't be for us to. But I certainly know there's a level at which of excessive risk taking, there certainly shouldn't be a public subsidy towards that excessive risk taking. And a lot of the regulation we've seen today is about determining leverage ratios and other forms of restrictions that are set by regulation. And that's very, very difficult because the issue you raise, countries have different environments. So how do you set leverage ratios that will work for the US, will work for Europe? Europe, 450 million people, you know, in aggregate, a huge amount of global GDP, just like the US. How are you gonna harmonize those leverage ratios for clearinghouses, you know, for banks, for insurance companies? without creating or giving companies operating in either set a competitive advantage because a particular leverage ratio will be too onerous for one, too cheap for the other. It's very, very difficult. I mean, that's what regulators are seeking to do. What we're saying is consider removing the fiscal subsidy. And then a lot of these issues uh, can go away or, or at least be, be controlled. But particularly if you use the savings you make to remove the excessive burden, fiscal burden, that's put on risk capital, which is what you want, because that's, that's if you want the good capitalism, the only asset class that creates wealth is equities. Then it gets redistributed and leveraged. And that's what helps entrepreneurs, helps make your economy rich. By the way, it creates the wealth that we need to pay for the welfare system, wealth to welfare. It's helping these minnows go from startup to stardom it's instead of having one out of the 100 most successful global startup, maybe try to have 25 10 years from now to coming out of Europe. It's that wealth that's going to pay for good transportation, good health care, good, you know, all the things we want. Education, health care, and a few other things that governments provide.